Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be, oh, I just hit one of the lights with my hand. Did that change anything? Today I'm going to be talking about some products that I think are really great, ones that don't really get enough mentions or that aren't really hyped up or anything like that, so they're really underrated. I'm going to be covering everything in the little beauty sphere. I have like some skincare, body care, makeup, and this video is a collab with one of my lovely friends. We've been friends for so long. Her name is Lily Pebbles. She also has a YouTube channel. If you guys don't know her, make sure you go and subscribe. I'm going to link her video on the screen right now because because she's also doing the same video. So if you want to hear her top 10 underrated products, make sure you click on the video. Go and subscribe to her as well. Fun fact, Lily was actually one of the first people to like, she did this kind of joke where, it wasn't really a joke, but it was kind of a joke where she got everyone to sign this like Twitter petition for me to start my channel. This was like maybe two and a half years ago now. So basically I love Lily because she was one of the reasons, not the only reason, but definitely one of the reasons I started my channel because she was just so funny and so encouraging. So make sure you go and subscribe to her. But I'm gonna get started with the first thing. I don't know if I should start with makeup or skincare, and I think I'm actually gonna start with makeup. I thought about skincare and then I was like, makeup's way more fun than skincare. This is something I've picked up maybe in May this year and I fell in love with. This is the Basame Brightening Vanilla, French Vanilla Powder. Oh my gosh, I just spilt it all over me. That was useful. Well, it's supposed to have this lock cap thing, as you can see here, but it doesn't really lock, so don't open it upside down like I just did. Basically, it's a really nice, light translucent powder and what I love about this is that it sets your under eye concealer or whatever you're applying under your eyes and it kind of locks it in but without making it look matte it's really really finely milled if your mascara or anything like runs like mine does or your eyeliner smudges if you set your concealer underneath your eyes with this like I promise you your mascara and your eyeliner and whatever won't smudge anymore it's so great and it really enhances the longevity of my concealer I don't really apply it with the puff that comes in the little thing even though I have kept the puff around because I think it's so cute I either apply it with a brush or with a sponge just kind of sweeping it underneath my eyes the next makeup favorite are these Redial glam sticks I love these so much so much that my voice just broke as I was talking about them these are kind of I don't even know how to describe these they're basically balms but they're super tinted balms they're not even tinted they're like really pigmented balms but they're really moisturizing they're so long-lasting like this is definitely the longest lasting hydrating lipstick I own so if you're someone that has really dry lips especially coming into winter now seriously check these out this is my favorite shade I went through a phase where I literally wore the shade every day for like two months and you guys know how many lipsticks I own so that's like the biggest statement ever it's the shade just Daisy oh I just think it's so gorgeous it's super flattering I can't really imagine a skin color that wouldn't suit this and then if you're into nudes I also have this one's called bite and it's more of a nudie peach color. You can apply them like a balm, but they last like a lipstick and they hydrate your lips like a kind of really hydrated balm would, but they're just, oh, I just love them so much. They're basically everything I would want in a lipstick. I just wish they had more colors. This is something new that came out recently. It's from Collection. It's their Blush and Glow palette. It's super affordable. That's the first thing I want to say about it. But second of all, the formulation of the kind of blushes and bronzer, I just want to throw this out there really quickly. I'm not a super keen on the highlight just because I like my highlights to be more golden and this one's more frosty. So if you're more cool in skin tone than I am, then you'll like this one, but I like my highlights more golden. So let's just pretend that one doesn't exist because I'm talking about these three here. The formulation of these is so buttery. They almost remind me of like the Tom Ford formula in terms of pigmentation of them because they just really sweep over your skin like so smoothly and almost like sleek but that's not a word so let's just pretend I didn't say that so this bronzer is a really nice color because it's not too warm toned and it's not too cool toned either so it kind of gives you a bronzy look but also that shadow definition as well and I know I say that about every bronzer I recommend but that's like my number one criteria of bronzer color if that makes sense like that's what I want my bronzer to do and then these two blushes here you get more of a cool toned one and more of a warm toned one I feel like I'm getting this highlighter all over my fingers as I'm holding this but 
yeah basically this one is kind of like a nars orgasm kind of color so if you're into that and you're looking for a cheaper alternative this palette would be great and then you have more of a dusky rose in here as well i just think this is so great especially if you're traveling or you're on the go or you do your makeup like in a rush or on transport a lot of the time it's just nice to have like everything in one batch i'm a big foundation person i try so many foundations <laughs> like it's just great my foundation hordervilleness is just off the charts right now you guys will have definitely seen that if you've watched my recent makeup collection and storage video which i will link somewhere on the screen right now but basically this is a foundation i wanted to mention in this video because i feel like it's really underrated and even though i love my Giorgio armani luminous silk or my l'oreal true match i feel like a lot of people know about that and this one's a brand that not many people know about it's the ex1 and this is their invisiwear liquid foundation now this is a brand mainly made for people with olive skin tones if you have like a skin tone like me and you find that foundations look a bit too pink on you you should really check this brand out because they create the right kind of olivey pigments that just really mesh nicely with my skin tone. I'm the shade F200 and then when I'm tanned I'll kind of mix a little bit of F300 in there as well. It leaves such a gorgeous glow on the skin. It really makes you look very dewy. It's really easy to blend. Oily skin girls will need to set this with a kind of translucent powder or something like that. But if you have dry skin and you want that really big boost of glow, Check this out. Oh, can I just add also, it's like glow without the sweat glow. That's what I really wanted to say about this, that I totally neglected saying that. It's like glow, but it doesn't make you look sweaty. It's like, it's like, you know Carly Kloss when she walks down that Victoria's Secret one, runway and she doesn't look sweaty. She just looks lit from within like a candle or something. Like she has a candle inside her. That's this foundation. I'm not that fickle with my brow products. I think I've mentioned about two brow pencils or maybe even three in the past like two and a half years or something I've been on YouTube. So basically, this one is one of them and I don't think this one gets enough love. It's the Kiko Precision Eyebrow Pencil and it's in the shade three. That's the shade I use. And what I like about this is it has such a fine little nib of the pencil. If you're not into using the twist up pencils like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, if you like more of a kind of pencil pencil, then you'll like this one. It has the same kind of waxy consistency that lasts a really long time on the brows and the brush makes the product really easy to blend into your eyebrows as well. I just find that these kind of really precise nibs give much more of a natural look to the brows than anything else. Moving on to skincare, this is a product from a brand I hadn't even heard of. It's called Neod. It's the photo photography fluid. <laughs> no, the photography fluid. It's basically a primer and it's a really kind of glowy. Oh, I just kind of, what is up with me spilling things today? I kind of use it like I would a primer. I use it either under my foundation or I kind of mix a little bit in with my foundation. But I used it quite a bit and then I read the instructions on the packaging. I always do this. I never ever read instructions first. And then I read that it's kind of like supposed to balance out undesirable color tones in your skin. After I read that, the more I looked at this, the more I really realized that's what I liked about it so much. It kind of counteracts any red I have around my nose as much as a kind of primer could and it really helps like balance out I get quite a lot of discoloration around here and it really helps balance that out and it gives you such a nice boost of glow it's kind of like the Becca shimmering skin perfector but a much more natural version it's the most natural glow inducing primer I I know it's not a primer but I keep calling it a primer but it's the most natural glowy one that I found and I feel like it's really hydrating at the same time and it has a lot of kind of skin care properties in there too. It says it contains technologies to help skin look better in photographs. I'm going to insert a picture now of the first time I used this and I took a picture of my skin and I don't know if it was like the camera or the lighting but I was like maybe this stuff actually makes your skin look better in pictures. Apart from that I just like the glow that it gives as well and that it keeps my skin hydrated too. I know a lot of people talk about soap and glory, a lot of people talk about their body scrubs but I feel like this body scrub is so neglect- <coughs> I just choked on my own spit. Anyway, as I was saying, I feel like this body scrub is so neglected in the soap and glory stash because no one ever talks about this one. Everyone talks about the breakfast scrub or the one in the pot or the more fruity ones. This is the pulp friction scrub. And I feel like I get a lot more use out of these than I do in the, with the ones in the pots because I feel like when I'm in the shower and I'm like my hands are dripping wet and I 
get the stuff out the pot, I get water in the pot and then everything else like seeps and separates where I, I really like the squeezy tube of this one. And this one has more of a like, kind of creamier consistency but it has a lot of grit in it so if you're someone like me that fake tans quite a bit and it gets to that like sixth to seventh day of your fake tan and you just really need to scrub that stuff off this is perfect because I literally scrub my arms and my fake my fake tan just comes straight off one thing I will say about this is it does leave my skin feeling quite in need of some moisture just because it's such an intense scrub but I quite like that I feel like my skin is really ready for whatever I'm putting on top of it like moisturizer or something like that and I really feel good after I've given myself a really intense scrub what I also another thing I really Really like about this is that it doesn't leave a film over my skin I cannot tell you how insane it drives me when a body scrub leaves my skin with an oily film over it because I feel like then I'm not scrubbing my skin it's like I'm just applying oil to my skin and is it even scrubbing my skin do you know what I mean the next thing I wanted to talk about is my new hair obsession it's by L'Oreal professional it's the next day hairspray now I just want to do a little bit of this I actually am not wearing my contacts so I can't really see what I'm doing so I could be making this look worse <laughs> but basically it's almost like the Orbe dry texturizing spray that I love that gives your hair that kind of second day texture but it's almost better, it's almost a bit more powerful. It does have less hold, it doesn't have like a kind of hairspray hold, but in terms of like giving your hair that kind of grit, that texture, it really is what it says in the bottle, like it really is next day hair. It still flows and it's still like flowy when I use it, like I used it this morning before filming and then again just now. <laughs> I might be a little bit addicted to it, but I don't know, it still leaves my hair feeling really flowy and I feel like it makes my hair quite adaptable to the texture so when I put it in and I scrunch it up and I do that, the texture that I'm giving my hair with my hands will stay. Another hair thing I wanted to mention, this is the L'Oreal Paris Elvive Extraordinary Oil, Oil in Cream, longest name of all time. I love this range, this range is the shampoo and conditioner I'm using now, but this is basically like as, okay, I don't know why I was just gonna tell you this is basically like an oil and cream because I just read the longest title ever to you. It's almost like I'm using a cream to detangle my hair, an oil to nourish my hair, and then adding shine all at the same time. And that's what I really like about this. It leaves my hair feeling really soft and smelling really nice too. And then throughout the week as well, if my ends are feeling really dry because I've been applying too much of this, or I've just been playing with it too much or put, applying too much heat on it, I'll just apply a tiny bit of this into the palms of my hands and like run it through my hair just to give it a bit little bit of life again my final favorite and this isn't last by any means this is by Omravitsa it's their glam glow now this is essentially like a gradual tanner but I feel like it's more powerful than a gradual tanner because it just has more of a glow to it and more color, but it's not an orangey color. It does apply like a cream. It doesn't actually have a guide color or anything, but this is the kind of fake tan I'll use on my upper body just because now I'm not like showing much skin because it's so freaking cold here, but like I'll put it on my face and on my chest and neck and stuff and like, it just gives you a really bronzy look and I feel like one application of this is enough. It smells really good. It is really hydrating on the skin. I don't feel like I'm applying something really bad onto my skin. Like a, if I applied like a mousse or something really drying like that onto my face, my face would probably break out into a million pieces. But this really hydrates my skin. And if I apply this overnight just by itself and leave it on, my skin is totally fine the next day. So those are my top 10 underrated products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Lily's video. I'll link it on the screen again right now and it will be at the top of the information box below as well as all the product links and everything if you fancy like daily updates if you want to know what I get up to throughout the week make sure you're following me on Instagram and snapchat I'll link those somewhere on the screen right now actually if you have any underrated products you think I really need to check out please leave them in the comments below and apart from that I am gonna go so I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in a couple of days time with a new video bye guys above my cheekbones and really kind of bring that down onto the apples of my cheeks. I just, I love how golden this makes your skin look and it really catches the light and like- Are you gonna drop your hair when we do this? No. This is a- Just don't fall on me this I'm time. I'm not gonna fall on you, put your foot <laughs> underneath my foot. It wasn't- like, Oh yeah, I did you not. Were, you did it on purpose. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, ready? So we were basically, so we decided what to do. We